What's up, family? Um, welcome to a Tuesday in progress. So, just got off work. Um, I ran to this thrift store place um, next to my apartment, and I saw that, like, my couch. Y'all saw my couch and how it needed the the bed part portion, whatever it's called. I don't know what you want to say. Um, <laughs> but it need like the the fold away bed section. Um, so I saw that at that thrift store they had a futon. So I was like, oh, futon is foldable. I should be able to fit in there and it's small enough, thin enough so that it won't be like extra bulky. So I went and I bought it. Um, it was 30 bucks. Like, I mean, I thought it would be cheaper, you know, but it was $30, whatever. The actual mattress for a sleeper sofa, the cheapest one I saw on Amazon was like 60 something. So 30 bucks, I guess you can't beat that. Um, but like, they didn't even care about it. Like, they just had it all thrown all on the floor. Like, just no decency. So, I brought it home. Um, I whipped out my little green and sprayed it down. Got some antibacterial odor de de um, deodorizer solution. Put some Folex in there. Just, like, spray it down. Spritz it. Spray it. Scrub it down to clean it. Um... Yeah, so now I'm leaving it sit out to dry. Let me show y'all. All right, here it is. Leaving it out to dry. I just scrubbed it. Um, yeah, it's starting to dry. But it's still pretty damp because I got the spritzing and the spraying. Um, but yeah. So it fit in there perfectly. This is a full-size futon. So the fold-out bed is full-size. It fit perfectly in there. We're going to see how it folds up. I'm probably not going to fold it back up until tomorrow. Give it a chance to completely dry because then I don't want to fold it up now and then it gets into like a mildew type situation. So I'm going to leave it like that. But then, the other reason, but the main reason that we are at the apartment today is because I ordered a box spring for my bed. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Hold up, hold up. Why doesn't this work? What does that light switch do? I have so many light switches and I have no idea what they go to. Alright, that turns on the dining room light. So this far light turns on that light. But then this light switch, what do you do? I flick you and nothing turns on. I'm confused. Whatever. Alright. Un momento while we go up the steps. It's going to get a little dark. All right, but the real reason I came to the apartment is because I ordered a box spring and it came today. So, whew, y'all already know the struggle. Trying to get that bad boy up the steps by myself. You can't stay here. You guys like what I did with my vase? That I got from Shein. I tried to do a little something, something. Decorated them both. Just got to find the right place for it. I have to get another one of those dressers to go there. Because that's like more tights and stuff that I need to put away. But they need their own separate drawer. So, because this one is supposed to be for, like, underwear, bras, and then this has socks, that has socks, pajamas, and then I can put more pajamas in here, but then I need another one of this size to go here with this box is for all those tight, like, workout stuff, that needs its own dresser. And then I still got to buy the two end tables to go there and there. And then get the mirrors to do my headboard. But that's another project. Several other projects for several different days. But now, the goal of this is we're going to try to put this together. See how far we can get by ourselves. And if we can 
build it, I'm guessing out here, that's where the most space is. We'll build it out here in this area and then hopefully we can take it in there. Cause you see how low the bed is to the ground? It definitely needs a box spring. So we're gonna try to do it by yourself. I am woman, hear me roar. We may or may not have this. Saw, like I put the flat sheet on top of the box spring and then the mattress on top of that because the sheet set that I got it didn't come with a skirt and I don't know if that's like an old school thing of like having a bed skirt to like hide the box spring and the frame type situation I've normally always had like either the blanket set came with it or the sheet set came with it but the blanket set that I got only came with the pillows and the sheet set I got didn't come with the skirt either so I was like, oh, I'll just use the flat sheet as my bed skirt. But that didn't work too well because the damn flat sheet, the material is so damn silky soft that the box spring was just like sliding all over. So every time I would, it would just... oh my gosh, the struggle. But I did it by myself. 
Knees about to give out, but I did it. One woman, one mom, by herself, in my Kevin Hart voice, I did it. Oh my gosh, if it wasn't for a sin and a shame of how long it took me to put this bed together, I would lay down in it. But I got to go back and pick the kids up from school. Oh my God, my knees are killing me. So I'm going to have to find, um, I didn't want to because I wanted the, like the curtains to be high to make the, I feel like I had bigger windows, but like the little command hooks that I was using to put the curtain rods up, they keep falling down. As you can see, curtains just keep falling down. So I'm going to have to get one of those tension rod things, like get a really long one and just have it go inside of this little box here. Um, Got to do something else for that window because curtain can't fit in that box the way that the blind is. But yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out. It's like this one's about to come down. It's like hanging on by a wing and a prayer. <sighs> but yeah. I gotta figure something out for these curtains. The only curtains that have managed to stay up are the ones upstairs in me and the boys' rooms. Those haven't come down, but these ones have. And I don't understand why. Like the curtains I have, the curtains I have upstairs in my room, they're the gold velvet, so they're heavy too. Just like these blue velvet ones for the downstairs. But I don't know if it's because I'm also adding a sheer curtain to the ones downstairs, just so like extra weight, but I mean they're sheer. How heavy can they be? I don't know. They keep falling down, but the ones upstairs don't. It's a mystery. Um, but yeah, I'm done for today at this place. It has tuckered me out and I've had enough. <sighs> Cut off all these lights. Okay, awesome sauce. <sighs> Futon was dry, so I was able to fold the couch back up. I'll take that box at a later date, at another time. I don't feel like it right now. All right, but let's get out of here so we can go home and pick up my kids from aftercare. Oh, 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 oh.